needed for this project, bottle labels printed from the internet, some Mod Podge, black spray paint, maybe a spider web, maybe a creepy cloth, maybe a skull head, old beer bottle, various colors of paint, I chose brown, black, silver, and gold, a foam brush, some twine, some tissue paper, a small paper bag, a couple random bottles, a silver tray, Spanish moss, and a skeleton bird. So I'm going to work on this bottle first. Um, so it's just an old beer bottle. I'm going to do the poison label. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And then I'll be uh, putting a little mod, mod podge. I always call it mod podge um, to stick this on. So this bottle will probably be the simplest one. So cutting this out, and these labels were easy to find. I just Googled, you know, spooky potion bottle labels online. Okay, so I have my label cut. Like I said, I think, yeah, that'll look cute. I'm gonna put it right about the middle of the bottle. Stick it on the back here. All right, so it doesn't really matter which side of the bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick that on. Make sure it's straight. So I crumpled up my little brown paper bag. I'm going to, my thought process here is to kind of crumple it and put it on the top of the bottle. All right, so I'm also now to get this to stay, I'm going to, sorry, I'm gonna cut off a little of this. I don't want it to look all perfectly rounded. So just cutting off a few little things there. Recrumple. Okay. So again, I'm going to now cut off some twine from my roll. Should be good. Hide the twine to the back of this. I'm going to wrap it around tightly. Um, and then I had to bust out the glue gun. Okay, so I want this to end in the back. Or, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so glue gun. Use the back of my scissors to push that down. All right, so top of the bottle now has twine, the brown paper, we got this. Now, while the glue gun was warming up, I thought of an idea, more twine. I'm gonna put it around the bottom and around the top of the bottle here. So I think it'll add another extra little pizzazz to it. So I think this bottle's done. So from beer bottle to poison bottle. All right, so next up, I had this little free uh, candy dish thing. So what I'm gonna be doing is I have some tissue paper. I'm gonna go ahead and crinkle, crinkle. I'm gonna be mod podging this to the glass jar to give it some texture. Uh, so what I probably will do is kind of rip pieces off. And then we're going to mod, po mod podge this directly onto the jar here. Okay, so I'm going to give this a nice thick coat and I'll work in sections like I said. So just slopping some glue on. Okay, again, no rhyme or reason here, but the wrinklier, the better, and then just go ahead and 
stick that on. So I'll keep working my way around. So while the other um, jar is drying, I'm going to mess with this little medicine jar I had. Now I tried to pick off some of the label, it was really hard, and I don't feel like spending the time soaking it. So um, I poured a little of the brown paint in here, I'm going to see what happens when I try to paint this. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and start to paint this. I mixed some of the brown paint with just a little bit of gold. I don't think it made a difference. But. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting this. Again, now you're really getting an emphasis on uh, the little wrinkles and stuff on the jar from the tissue paper. Now applying the second coat to the medicine bottle uh, to help cover up the first layer. Okay, so I put a few more coats of paint onto the jars, so they're, um, they're kind of drying right now. I'm going to work on the lids, so same look as the other jar. I crumpled up some paper, I'm going to use some twine uh, to adhere that to the top. So I'm going to start with the bigger lid here. Again, no need to paint this. A little bit of hot glue there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap the twine around it. Now my little medicine jar lid, same concept again. So to keep that hot glue in place, place a little glue on there. All right, so the medicine bottle's dry. So I'm gonna go ahead, I glued the paper to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and twist the cap on. Make sure it's on there, okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the twine around it. So I'm going to just pick a spot to start, right here in the back. Okay, to add a little more pizzazz to the jar, I'm also going to add some twine at the bottom and then glue on the label and then this one is done. Alright, so final jar. I went ahead and put the lid on, so it's looking like this, and then I have to place the label, and then this jar is done. So I'll go ahead, glue on the back. Let it dry, and wrap around the bottle. All right, finished product. So I added some Spanish moss to the tray, put it all together, and I think it looks spooky.